the greens of the trees. I think only in the last few years have I really started appreciating all the different tones that the trees have and just observing nature as you observe things uh, slower and in more detail, they get more interesting and uh, you realize you've been missing a lot of things. My name is Scott Hargrave. Uh, I've been living in Alachua County for about 45 years. What I have noticed, unfortunately, is developments tend to be fairly treeless and not really resemble what I think of as a big attribute of Gainesville being the trees. Ooh. If I was a migratory bird flying over and looking for a place to either breed or to stop over, I would be looking for that tree canopy cover. So I'd be flying over and it would resemble um, kind of like a forest patch. Within that area, I'd be looking for spaces that have a lot of vegetation from the ground to the canopy. I'm studying basically the habitat selection of three species of birds during the breeding season in these suburban areas. Pileated woodpeckers, which are actually not migratory, but then I'm also studying uh, summer tanagers and northern perulas, which are both migratory. The species I'm looking at forage in the canopy, and so canopy cover, just like having a lot of big trees, is really important for them. A lot of these neotropical migrants, they're called, go from the northern part of the United States down to South America, Central America. Florida happens to be one of their pathways they go by. So it's a huge migratory pathway for, for songbirds. Conserving even just small forest fragments for residential area, it provides this facilitation through the, the urban matrix that, that's really important. Urban areas can provide bird habitat. So whether that be residential areas, whether that be forest fragments, they both provide key habitat for birds. A lot of breeding birds need these large tracts of forest to breed, but in, during migration, during winter, these small forest fragments can provide vital habitat for them to stop over. Canopy cover, just like having a lot of big trees, is really important for them. So in like yards where there's just like a palm tree or something like that, uh, you're, you're really not going to expect to see them there. So you really need like big live oaks and floral oaks. This palm tree here <laughs> was my height when we moved in. It's only a little over five foot tall and it's enormous now. My name is John Reiskind and I've uh, lived here for 54 years and in this house for 50 years. I think that uh, having neighborhoods with an urban forest uh, is, is very good for your mental health and especially good during a period like this last year which uh, has been difficult not only as a result of a COVID but I, I lost my wife and uh, the environment, the neighborhood is very soothing and uh, comforting. I despair for those who are in cities who cannot get out. Uh, that would really be difficult. I'm a little concerned about some of the gentrification that's going on, but uh, we have wonderful nature parks in, in the city. So those who may not have as much forest or natural area around their homes, there are lots of opportunities. All in all, I think uh, it's nice to protect the birds, not the ones just who live here, but the ones who are coming through because unless they have a safe passage from the tropics into the, the temperate zone, then we're gonna lose them.